Hi, welcome to A Climbing Daily where we are firmly in the Alpine. It's been an incredible autumn here in the Alps and we've enjoyed almost unprecedented conditions on major north faces. The Grand Jurass in particular saw more ascents than it probably has done in the last five years combined, with up to 30 teams climbing the face on any single day. We decided to get the expert take on why conditions were so good and caught up with British guide and alpinist John Bracey. This autumn we've had the best conditions on the North Faces in like the European Alps for decades. This has been caused mainly we had atrocious weather through June and July, raining with snow between three and four thousand meters and like kind of wet sticky snow so it's stuck on all the faces. Then uh, it rained late in the summer at the start of August so it turned all the snow into pristine neve and then uh, finally we got the good weather at the end of the season. So particularly on the Grand Jurass we had got a new hut garden in the show hut and she's been really proactive getting photos on the internet getting everyone psyched. Secondly new guidebooks come out for getting all the info can't get lost anymore. Yeah, I mean, the one route on the Grand Jurassic that's had the most attention is the Colton McIntyre. Climbed for the first time back in 1976. Complete groundbreaking ascent, alpine style, pushing the boundaries. The kit that Alex McIntyre and Nick Colton had was horrific, super heavy axis and stuff. These days, all this lightweight gear, man, it's been a complete revolution. Your ice axe here is probably about half the weight of the Simon Chacal that Alex uh, McIntyre and Nick Colton were using. Crampons again, way lighter. Most people for mixed climbing are using a monopoint. You know, for mixed climbing, super precise. This thing, you know, doesn't weigh much and it's a complete game changer as well. It's pretty random how the ice is forming on the big north faces in the Alps. This year we had a cold, wet summer, which is quite rare. Um, you know, it could be great for the next five years it might not be good for another 10 or 20. You don't know, you know, that's the tricky thing with mixed climbing. Next, we're sticking with the Alpine theme and joining a bunch of climbers who have more to contend with than most of us. Matt Spone, Blake McCord and Steve Richards are all type 1 diabetic, but they refuse to be held back by this and recently travelled to the Wind River Gorge in Wyoming to make adventurous first ascents in this wild place. Steve founded an organisation to empower people with diabetes through adventure, livingvertical.org, and has been using climbing and short indie films to get the message out. That message is to go beyond the limits of diabetes or whatever specific challenges you face. The final work is actually going to be completed in partnership with a diabetes research non-profit called T1D Exchange in the hope that they can get the message out to more people who need it and to help them accelerate some very exciting research. Well, blood sugar takes precedence over over confessional cameras. 180? 180, no, that's not that high. And out here, we're, we're doing it all ourselves, just like you do with diabetes, and uh, I think that's, that's what's significant about it, is it's just you and, and the rock, and it's just you and diabetes. There's never been a, a route established on this end of Fremont Peak, and I think we're finding out why. <laughs> <laughs> so. Just a whole bunch of big blocks that could kind of be loose. It's been longer days to get to right here than we expected, so. Go explore a little bit, see, see what's really possible for yourself. Don't let yourself be kind of confined by diabetes and kind of the label that's put on you because of that. For more information about the film, go to livingvertical.org forward slash WRP. To finish the week, we've got some news of the brand new Epic TV Android app. With the new update to the Epic TV app, you can now download videos to watch when you're offline. Whether you're bored on a flight or looking to get psyched up at the crag, this new feature means that you no longer need a Wi-Fi connection to make your day that bit more epic. That's it from us this week. We'll see you on Monday when we have got the first of our 2014 Top 3s.